What's going on guys? It is Bernardo and today is all about adding a virtual machine object into your VR ops. So let's get right into that. Okay, so adding a virtual machine object into your VR ops. Now there's two ways you could actually use VMware's discovery or adding it manually. So once you are inside your VR ops uh, console or web interface, you want to go into environment. Within environment, we are going to click on inventory. Within inventory, we need to locate discovery objects. So we're going to click on it. You're going to get this nice little wizard. And the first thing that we need to do is hit the drop down menu for collector. You should have only one, so select it. For your adapter type, click on the drop down menu and we are going to select the center adapter. For your instant, you're going to click on the drop down menu and you should have only one instant, which is your vCenter full qualified domain name. So select it. And for your discovery info, we are going to click on the drop down menu and select VMware discovery. For your object type, click on the drop down menu. You're going to get a lot. Now, for this video, we want to kind of locate the virtual machines. So that is the type that we are going to pick. And once you're done, we are going to select on OK. Now, the discovery results little dialog box is going to pop up. And for this example, it looks like we got six machines. So we are going to select it. And at the very bottom, it's going to show you the virtual machines that the discovery picked up. If you want to choose one of them, all you have to do is just click on import and also select collect the import option will add it into your inventory and the collect option will start collecting information or matrix on that virtual machine and you're going to click OK and then you're good to go or you have to do is wait until it starts picking up and collecting information and your VR ops will you know give you statistics and matrix on that particular virtual machine now another way let's say the discovery did not pick up that particular virtual machine that you want to add into your VR ops. So from here, you're going to click on that plus symbol, which is basically to add an object and you're going to get the add object wizard. The display name could be whatever you want to do. What I like to do with the display name is actually give it the virtual machine name, give it a description and it's time for us to pick the adapter type. So click on the drop down menu. And the one that we are going to pick is the vCenter adapter. Now for the adapter instant, just click on the drop down menu. You should see your vCenter fully qualified domain name here. So select it. For the object type, click on the drop down menu. And again, the one that we are going to pick would be virtual machine. And once you pick virtual machines, it's going to want you to add more information. So for the name, I like to give it the virtual machine name. Keep it nice and simple. For the object ID, I normally like to run RV tools on my vCenter and it will give you a lot of information. And if you go to your right hand side, if you slide the bar to your right hand side, you're going to see the virtual machine UUID, right? That's what you're going to copy, highlight, copy it, and then go back here and you're going to basically paste that object ID there. Once you do that, click OK. And once you click OK, the object is inside your inventory. That is one way for you to add your objects if the VMware discovery doesn't pick the one that you want to add into your VR ops uh, environment. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.